One of the most popular type of home exercise equipment is the treadmill, which provides a straightforward, efficient aerobic workout. For many, treadmills are a good choice to begin a new exercise routine because working is well tolerated by most individuals regardless of fitness level and for most back conditions. As strength and endurance are developed, the treadmill can be used for jogging and or for interval training. But hey, stop right there. We already know about this. Hey people, get ready to know about the facts about treadmill that you probably don't know. Welcome back cat lovers, today we present you the history of treadmill. Come on, hop on to the bandwagon that takes us to the past days. Come on, let's learn together. A treadmill is a device generally for walking or running while staying in the same place. Treadmills were introduced before the development of powered machines to harness the power of animals or humans to do work. Often a type of mill that was operated by a person or animal treading steps of a treadwheel to grind grain. In later times, treadmills were used as punishment devices for people sentenced to hard labor. In prisons, the terms treadmill and treadwheel were used interchangeably for the power and punishment mechanisms. More recently, treadmills are not used to harness power but as exercise machines for running or walking in one place. Rather than the user powering the mill, the machine provides a moving platform with a white conveyor belt driven by an electric motor of flywheel. The belt moves to the rear, requiring the user to walk or run at a speed matching that of the belt. The rate at which the belt moves is the rate of walking or running. Thus, the speed of running may be controlled and measured. The more expensive heavy-duty versions are motor-driven usually by an electric motor. The simpler, lighter and less expensive versions passively resist the motion, moving only when the walkers push the belt with their feet. The latter are known as manual treadmills. According to Sports and Fitness Industry Association, treadmills continue to be the largest selling exercise equipment category by a large margin. As a result, the treadmill industry counts with hundreds of manufacturers throughout the world. The first consumer treadmill for home use was developed by William Staub, a mechanical engineer. Staub developed his treadmill after reading the 1968 book Aerobic by Dr. Kenneth H. Cooper. Cooper's book noted that individuals who ran for 8 minutes 4 to 5 times a week would be in better physical condition. Staub noticed that there were no affordable household treadmills at the time and decided to develop a treadmill for his own use during the late 1960s. He called his first treadmill the Pace Master 600. Once finished, Staub sent his prototype treadmill to Cooper, who found the machine's first customers, which included sellers of fitness equipment. Staub began producing the first home treadmills at his plant in Clifton, New Jersey, before moving productions to Little Falls, New Jersey. Treadmills as power sources originated in antiquity. These ancient machines came in three major designs. The first was to have a horizontal bar jutting out of a vertical shaft. It rotated around a vertical axis driven by an ox or other animal walking in a circle pushing the bar. Even humans were used to power them. The second design was a vertical wheel that was powered through climbing in place instead of walking in circles. This is similar to what we know today as the hamster wheel. The third design also required climbing out but used a sloped moving platform instead. Treadmills as muscle powered engines originated roughly 4000 years ago. Their primary use was to lift buckets of water. This same technology was later adopted to create rotary grain mills and the tread wheel crane. It was also used to pump water and power dough netting machines and bellows. Treadmills were invented in 1818 by an English engineer named Sir William Cubitt, son of a miller, knotting idle prisoners at Bury St. Edmund's Gill. He proposed using their muscle power to both cure their idleness and produce useful work. Cubitt's treadmills for punishment usually rotated around a horizontal axis, requiring the user to step upwards like walking up an endless staircase. Those punished walked around the outside of the wheel holding a horizontal handrail for stability. 
Earlier treadwheels include either horizontal or inclined access devices designed for a single user as well as a horizontal access designed with the user inside and using the shaft as a handrail. In a manner similar to the familiar toys for small pet animals like hamsters, they remained in use until the second half of the 19th century. They were like 20 foot long paddle wheels with 24 steps around a 6 foot cylinder. Several prisoners stood side by side on a wheel and had to work 6 or more hours a day, effectively climbing 5,000 to 14,000 vertical feet, that is around 1.5 to 4 kilometers. While the purpose was mainly punitive, the most infamous mule at Brixton Prison was installed in 1821 and used to grind grain to supplement an existing windmill, which Cubit had previously installed nearby. It gained notoriety for the cruelty with which it was used, which then became a popular satirical metaphor for early 19th century prisons. The machines could also be used to pump water or power ventilators in mines. So friends, how did you like today's episode? Well, I have a question for you. Do you own a treadmill or maybe you are part of a gym that has one and maybe you spend some hours on it every day? So we would like to know your thoughts. So please, please, please let your comments down below and let us know that what you really feel about treadmills up knowing where it came from. And as always, stay healthy. So don't just leave out that treadmill yet because it was well maybe a punishment device sometime but well stay fit with it and we will catch you in the next one see ya